Chernobyl was one of the worst nuclear accidents to date. On April 26, 1986, shortly before 1 a.m., a series of errors and chants began a long chain reaction that would lead to 30 deaths immediately after the disaster and would lead to the deaths of 4,000 to 16,000 plus people as a result of radiation induced cancer. The horrific tragedy challenged the public view of nuclear power and exposed the Soviet government's failures, supposed infallibility, and will lead to the collapse of the Soviet Union. The Chernobyl power plant was located in Ukraine, on the Pripyat River. Nearby was the small town of Chernobyl, and just a little bit further was the larger city of Kiev. A nuclear reactor works by a controlled release of energy through nuclear fission. Unstable fuel is contained in the reactor core. Through a process called nuclear fission, atoms split, releasing energy and neutrons that continued the chain reaction by splitting more atoms. This process can be mostly safely controlled by what are known as control rods. Control rods absorb the neutrons, slowing down the process of reaction. The Chernobyl power plant used boron carbide control rods and water coolant to manage the reaction. On Saturday, April 26, 1986, a safety test of the reactor went horribly wrong. While simulating an electrical power outage, the unexperienced night shift workers experienced a sudden increase in power output. They triggered a reactor shutdown that would insert all control rods fully and immediately and stop the reaction. Unbeknownst to them, the graphite tips of the control rods, through a process known as the negative void coefficient, decreased the ability of the water to absorb neutrons temporarily increasing the reaction and causing a catastrophic criticality incident and a steam explosion that effectively blew the top off of the containment vessel. The reactor core was exposed to the air and released radioactive contamination to the air that spread across Belarus, the USSR, and Western Europe. Following the explosion, firefighters were dispatched to put out a graphite fire caused by the high temperatures. Many of the firemen died to acute radiation sickness, and the dosimeters available could only read up to 0 0.001 roentgens per second, leading to the assumption that the reactor core was still intact. In reality, the reactor was exposed to the air, and the actual number was much closer to 5.6 roentgens per second. The misunderstood and believed infallibility of the RBMK reactors partly caused the initial disaster, endangered the cleanup efforts, and led to government silencing of dissidents and scientists, leading to slow evacuations of Chernobyl and Kiev, and leading to unnecessary deaths. Unfortunately, this attitude was common in the 1980s. There was a pattern of authoritarian governments silencing any opposition, and leading to unnecessary deaths and suffering. Due to egos and failure to admit errors and wrongdoings, the 80s saw death, violence, disaster, and pain on a global scale.